Hi there, Melissa Colgan with Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and Style Parlor TV. I'm here with Isaac Mizrahi for the signing of his new book, How to Have Style. Isaac, there's an old adage that says you're born with style, it can't be taught, but in your book you kind of argue otherwise. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I mean, you know, it really depends on what kind of style you're talking about. For the most part, like, what women need help with is not looking, you know, not the idea of looking like a stylist. I think they just, like, have a problem sort of getting dressed every day and feeling kind of a little bit more sensational than they do. You help 12 different women with different different mm -hmm. style conundrums and the first thing you have them do is build different inspiration boards. Can you tell me what inspires you? What would your inspiration board contain? Well, things come in the mail a lot, like beautiful invitations and images, magazines, I cut pictures out of magazines, like just if someone sends a box of chocolates or something and the ribbon is a beautiful color, I save it, right. you know. It's my own way of organizing myself visually. What are the five items uh, that every woman in her, should have in her wardrobe? The first thing that she would have in her wardrobe is the right haircut. Then I would say you need like a couple of pairs of shoes, you know. You need like a sexy pair of shoes and a sort of everyday pair of shoes. Okay. The legs are really an important thing to get down, so it's like if it's about hosiery, maybe pattern hosiery is something for fall. Pattern hosiery is a very big important trend. And then I always think the right bra. It's what shapes everything else. What um, inspired you to finally pen a book? Well, you know, this issue of how to have style has been a big question in my mind. Almost everybody looks fine. I mean, I never walk down the street saying, oh God, look how awful she looks, you know. If you want to look great, if you want to sort of look any better, and by the way, I think almost everybody can look better. Take the pressure off yourself. You know, you could say, oh, you know, I look fine. That everybody could look better, you know, like a supermodel could look better, you know. So in that case, maybe it's fun. You know, maybe I'll have fun doing this. You can't turn on the news today without hearing about some of the stuff going on in the economy. I know. And you um, have somebody in your book who was also having to find style on a budget. Where were some of the places that you were pulling clothes from for her? All kinds of places, like from the most obvious places, which are like, you know, great stores like Target and Kohl's. eBay, for instance. There was this one fabulous, like, we found this Marnie skirt on eBay for like, you know, 80 bucks or something like that. A skirt that would normally cost like $750. I think everybody needs to go in their closets or, and see what they already have. Right. Once you take stock and you know what you have, then you'll know what you need to update. This doesn't have to have anything to do with your political leanings, but <laughs> who me. do you think would be bring the most style to the White House. Who are you really excited oh about seeing? God, I have to say Obama's, the Obama family. Yeah. Here's the thing about Michelle Obama that I love. I think that having style is knowing when not to have style. She's really good at just kind of letting it go. And I think people have to know that too. My mother used to do this hilarious <laughs> thing because I was a troublemaker when I was a kid and she'd come to pick me up in school and like suddenly all the jewelry would come off. You know, a little headscarf would go on. She'd take all the makeup off, right? The hot, she'd be wearing flats, right? Just seeing her that way made me panic. It was like, what, what did I do? You know, but somehow the principal of the school like felt much worse for her looking like that than had she come in with big right. hair and makeup, which right. she normally wore, you know? I think it's like knowing how to control the way you look right. in order to get what you want. Yeah, yeah. that's a good funny story. <laughs> True. Well, Sorry. thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. I know you have to head upstairs and sign that's right, your book. That's right. Um, well, thank you. It was fun. And it's available at all Barnes & Noble store. Thank you.